I remember from an early age just feeling hooked by the amount of life that we had here in this state, whether it was salmon in the sound or deer and birds in the Cascades. The land is a kind of a mentor. There's so much that I've learned from it and being out in nature. I've been working on climate change for over 20 years and right now is a time unlike any other in my whole career. It's super energizing to see how many people are paying attention to the issue, how many people are concerned about the future that we're walking towards. Because of increasing greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the planet is now almost two degrees warmer than it was before human civilization started changing the atmosphere. Almost every year we have record-breaking temperatures. 2020 was tied for the second warmest year on record. We see record-breaking wildfires, record-breaking droughts, record-breaking sea levels. So it's not a problem for the future. It's an issue for right now. Climate change might feel quite removed from, say, this year's deer season, but it's adding up and its effects are all sort of synergistically coming together with drought, with wildfires, with less snowpack. The snowpack is our bank account for our water levels. For this valley, we already have high waters in May. It rushes out of the valley, therefore we have less water later for cooler temperatures in the river, for trout, cooler temperatures as we approach fall for the incoming salmon and steelhead, cooler temps that we would have had for the safety of fish. As a result of climate change, resources and activities in terms of being in the outdoors aren't how they used to be. Changes related to water and temperature we've seen play out in certain species that we have here in Washington, specifically snow geese and black brant. As a result, here in Washington, we structure our waterfowl seasons based on some of this information that's coming to us from the breeding grounds. For example, in the last couple years, we've seen increasing bag limits on snow geese, but continued restrictive season and bag limit on black brant. We anticipate that climate change will negatively impact opportunity for shellfish harvesters as well as anglers into the future. Things like ocean acidification, harmful algal blooms, and increased temperature will directly impact opportunity on the coast and in Puget Sound. Some of my best times taking my sons out and um, fishing and crabbing with them. And like I said, the last few years, there's been no crab openings in South Puget Sound. And I mean, I want you know for them to be able to do it with their kids like I did with my father and they did with their father. The biggest change that I see when I go out into the pack country to go hunting are these huge swaths of wildfires. Climate change is bringing drought and for regenerating forests after a fire, this could mean a slower regrowth of plants and so again, perhaps a loss of nutrition for deer. And then there's just the smoke. I spent three out of seven days last year on a back country hunt pretty much stuck in camp because the smoke was so thick that, you know, I couldn't see more than 100 yards and the air quality was so poor that, you know, I didn't want to be hiking around. Having healthy and abundant fish and wildlife populations is such a huge part of our quality of life here in Washington State. And being able to pass those along to future generations is really important to me. You know, this is part of our responsibility to do what we can to leave these this natural heritage better than we found it. So climate change, I think of it as pulling on the threads of everything in society and of all our communities and ecosystems. Almost everything we care about, know about, do is somehow linked to climate. And as climate changes, those things will need to change too. One of the things that gives me the most strength and gives me the most hope is how many people are really tuning into this issue. I think people are starting to recognize that we need to take some big, bold actions to create a landscape that's more resilient to climate change and increased wildfires. And I think our biggest tool there is prescribed burning and, and forest treatments. We can sort of dampen the effects of this sort of heightened 
fire regime that we're shifting into with climate change, which will then hopefully bring some balance back to our habitat and the, the deer and other wildlife that depend on it. The reality is, is we're in some uncharted waters as far as what to expect, what comes next, how might regulations change. One of the things we're doing at the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife to be prepared for climate change is to partner with other external agencies and, and nonprofits. I think our number one hope for fighting climate change is making sure that we invest in youth and invest in the next generation. It's important for you to talk about climate change within your communities. Get involved with things like community science projects, the eBird app where you can log bird sightings across the year, or just talk to your neighbor. We have a choice about the future. It isn't written yet.